Buenos dias, Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh. Here's another one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She said what? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. On a player like a bad habit. Bye up. Bye up. You already know what it is, man. You can see by that thumbnail, we're going to get straight into it. But before we do, hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notifications bells on all so that way you're abreast of all the dope content I'm bringing all week long. And we're definitely going to get into it. <clears throat> before I get into anything, I want to say shout out to all the gente, all the raza, man. Everyone tuning in and supporting the channel. I highly appreciate it, man. And the beat goes on like a whisper song, man. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it flowing. And that's just the way it is. Now, hey, aren't you white, brother? Get over here, brother. We sit over here. Uh, Chale. <laughs> right? That ain't the way it goes. See, my light skin and the way I look, my demeanor, maybe the way I act, my intelligence, I don't know what it is, man, has sometimes had some people befuddled and confused. You know, um, I've gotten to certain places where people automatically assume, no, that right there is a good wood, brother. You know what I mean? And I'm not, Holmes. I actually come from Northern California um, and was a North thing. But, um, you know, to each their own. Everyone is going to decipher a man how they decipher him. And they're going to judge a book by his cover, by the way he looks, by the, the tone of his skin or whatever. I, me I remember I met a black dude. I was like, what's up, cuz? He was like, I don't know, Wesley. I was like, oh, hell no, right? And I told the story about Tiny Solo, rest in peace from A-Trade Gangsters, man, how he played me out. How he was like, Florencia, I said, I was like, oh shit. And then he was like, nah, I'm from A-Trey, right? But he held up the three and shit. Um, it's just the way it is, man. If you're quick to assume and judge a man based on his looks, um, you could be asked out very, very quickly. Guard! I said, asked out, punk, right? And that's just the way it is. Um, but I remember this particular prison, this particular time, man, I got mistaken for the, the white man. Orale, the, the white man marches on. Oh, and they try to march on. Um, and then that became, I became a target because of that. Um, it's just the way it goes. So I get to a county jail, right? And you know, when you first get to county, man, you're coming off the streets, man, and you're sitting in your cell. And the first thing you're thinking in your cell is like, damn, I was just there. You're reminiscing already. Fuck it. Yesterday I woke up and I went to Danny's, homie. I had to be two grand slams for $5.99. Right? You're over there just thinking about what you were doing the day before because you can't believe that now all you got to look forward to is a hard-boiled egg and a peanut butter packet. Just yesterday, it was Grand Slam on, right? I was eating pancakes, going fucking you know, ham on, and it was just crazy, right? Uh, but it ain't crazy no more, no more. And now I'm sitting down. So I get to the county jail. I get processed at night. I get locked up probably about 11 o'clock at night. We're coming from a spot, man. They popped us. Boom. I try to get my, I try to get my brother's name. I ain't going to lie. My brother was incarcerated at the time. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to run his name through the mud, right? It's going to help me out. Um, they came with the picture. They're like, is that you, Bob Oso? I was like, no. They were like, okay, false information to a cop. That's another charge. I was like, that is me. <laughs> Bam, got me. Um, so I'm locked up in the back of the cop car with a few homies, and I'm thinking it's going to be all right. Everything's going to see all right because they're going to ship us, you know, to this county jail, in and out, man. It really ain't no drastic charges, no hectic things going on. So we're going to be in and out, I thought, right? So bam, I get locked up. Bam, we're going through processing. At first, they put us in a fucking holding cell. We're together. We're kicking back. We think we're tough, too. We're looking at all these motherfuckers. You know the people that use the toilet paper roll for a pillow? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and need that, homie. I need to take me a shit, right? Um, next thing you know, we got the toilet paper rolls. Dudes are in there like, brother, it's not that serious, right? Oh, it is that serious. Uh, Eddie Murphy delirious. Now, they ship us to our pods, right? And they make sure that they separate me and my crime partners, which really weren't crime partners at the time because we ain't did no fucking crime. We just got caught lacking, slipping, pulled over, and all of us had warrants in the whole damn car. So now the car's impounded. I'm stressed out about that. Um, now I got to go do a little jail time, man. I got to look at the judge. He's going to release me on my own recognizance. But at the same time, um, I got to sit in the county for a few days. And that's ugly. You know, I'm sitting in there with all the addicts and, and, and the smokers. And I'm just trying to get up out this holding cell. So they say, hey, you know what? Roll it up. You're going to go to a pod, right? And it takes forever to get to a pod. So I'm happy that I was on fast track, right? That I was going to be able to get to a pod because it was a Friday. You already know, man, you're not going to see the judge till Monday. Anyone that's been locked up will tell you, you ain't going to see nobody till Monday. So fucking sit down for Saturday and Sunday and enjoy brunch because that's just what it is. Um, so they sent me to a pod. So bam, I wiggle and they make sure that they separated us. Hey, homie, you're not coming with me. No, bro. I don't know where they're sending me. Well, fuck wherever they're sending you, homies, they're not sending me. So bye bye. 
So bam, I get to my pod and as I'm going up the stairs, um, you know, I'm walking with my real bedroll and whatever they give me. And man, it's the same old love song. I've been doing this my whole life. So I should say that I'm used to it, but I don't think you could ever get used to being incarcerated. That first few days are hectic, man. The worst days in the world. Um, so I'm walking up to this doll said, shut the fuck up, I don't even know what the fuck happened, right? She been, I just want to kick it, right? Bam. I walk in, psh, Sally Port, doors open. Um, I see everyone looking through the windows. It was kind of like that King Von video. Everybody's looking through the windows. Only I'm not trying to go to protective custody or none of that. Just put me in my cell, homie, so I can sleep this one off. I got the duration, which is the weekend. Monday, I'm going to be up out of here. Um, all these little falsifying information, these little warrants that they got me on, weren't going to hold me down like a May song. So I'm going to get in, right? So I remember as I get in, I hear them, wood, wood, wood. And I'm thinking automatically that they're talking amongst each other on the tira. Because you need to understand one thing, man, you know, having been and survived the California system, having survived, you know, in and out of prisons, jails, YAs, I never had a mistaken identity. I have one guy, one guy only, man, say, hey, man, you look like a white man. I said, was that right? He said, well, I mean, are you, am I wrong? You're wrong. Okay, well, then that's that. Um, So I'm here, Wood, Wood, what's up, Wood, what's up, brother? Hey, we're over here, right? And I walk straight in. Hey, I'm tired. I just came out the holding cell. Like I said, the fucking uh, the toilet paper pillow wasn't doing its thing. And I get in my cell. And of course, there's a white dude in my cell. Now, this is out of state. This is not California, homie. If it was California, I would have had to flight business right there and let the dude know, hey, either I go or you go. We can't function together. This ain't the way it works. And I don't think the blackers would have made that discrepancy anyways because they, they would have known that the next time they came to serve child, there would have been a body right there at the front door, whether it be mine or his. I'm not going to sit there and say I would have bodied the guy. He might have bodied me. But I get in there, there's a little pencil neck guy that looks like Paul Rubin. For those of you that don't know who Paul Rubin is, Pee Wee Herman. Make a leck a high, make a high knee. He's about to go, right? So I go in the cell, door pops. Cops like, get your ass in there. All right, cool. All right, Wood. <laughs> I get in there. Um, dude jumps off. He's like, what's up, brother? You know what I mean? My name's Brian. I said, hey, what's up, Brian? Um, how does this work? And he goes, what do you mean? How does it work, dude? I was like, yeah, um, you're white. How does that work? He's like, I, I don't know. When I fell out my mom's pussy, I was white, right? And I said, yeah, but see, <clears throat> the way I work, homie, is I'm a North Daniel. At that time, I was a functioning homeboy. Um, I was like, this right here is not going to work. And now that I think back and I think about it, it did work, right? Um, why was it not going to work? This guy would, didn't even know what a Norteño was, to be honest and truthful with you. He was like, a Norteño? He was like, y y you eat tacos and shit, brother? I was like, hey, listen, I don't take the disrespect. Um, what, so how's this going to work? And he was like, no, nah, we don't play them games here, bro. He's like, hey, I ain't even going to lie. I thought, you was a, I thought you was a brother. I thought you was a wood. He goes, I think a lot of the fellas think you're a wood. And I said, nah, nah, homie. You know what I mean? I'm Mexican. And he says, well, you're the lightest damn Mexican i ever seen. And I said, that's right, homie, but don't let the light skin fool you because I will fuck you up. So what's happening, though? Um, and he looks at my tattoo work and he sees a lot of the things that I have. And he's like, OK, yeah, you're Raza. You're La Raza. So we're chilling. We're chopping up. We're having a great conversation. And he's letting me know that in this particular state, man, it's not like that. You know, it's not like that. Valtos ain't tripping uh, brown and black. And I mean, you stick with your own. But at the same time, man, you can sell it with whoever you want. And I'm fucking befuddled. I'm, I'm confused. Because I'm used to politics. I'm used to racial politics. So I said, you guys stay the fuck way over there, brother. And we're going to stay over here. That's it. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, but that's not how this program goes. So anyways, I already feel the tension. I know there's going to be problems. I just know it, right? So we got to come out to a, like a little day room session. We get like an hour out of our cells. This is county jail, man. You're lucky to even be coming the fuck about yourself. I know a Merced County Jail where I'm used to, man. We're in eight-man cells, man, and that's it. For the duration, we get a yard, and someone gets whacked, and we go back. Period. That's that's our program. Functioning. So we come out the cell. And at first, they serve trays. My bad. Let me rewind it. They serve trays in your cell. Sometimes you come out of your cell for trays. It depends on how many placas are working, because, you know, the cops always run that same old drag, man. We don't have enough uh, people working today. There's not enough people on the, t you know what I mean? And that's just it. And then you'll be kicking back reading the newspaper the whole time, looking at the funny pages. It's real funny. So this particular day was the next morning they slid our tray. Mm. So they opened the fucking tray slot. We get our tray. He's like, hey, brother, are you going to eat that hard-boiled egg? I said, no, brother, it's you, right? So I get to my fucking wood voice where we're starting to fuck around in there. He's like, hey, uh, you mind if I take shit in here, wood? I'm like, man, white man shit sure does smell funny, right? And anyways, so we're cool. But he's also telling me in real life, man, he goes, I think some of the woods are going to trip off you. You know, um, they automatically assume that you're a homie, man. 
And if they feel slighted, or they feel disrespected, or they feel like they fucking are confused, there might be issues. And I said, nah, I ain't going to be no issues. But in the back of my head, man, the back of my neck, my hairs were standing up because I knew what time it was. So I'm looking around for any Mexicans. I see a few paisas floating around. They're porters and shit. Paisa comes to my cell. He's like, hey, what? You get it? Get us a magazine? I'm like, what? Get us a magazine. And, and, yeah, I want a magazine, right? So he shoots a magazine, right? And I'm looking at it. He's like, hey, it's muchos, muchos hueros, muchos. <laughs> He's trying to give me the hit. Hey, we're fucking outnumbered, that's it, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, tu es no huero? No, no, nah, I'm not white, right? And he's like, plastico, right? And so he bounces. Um, and I'm a Chicano, brown and proud, right? That's just what it's going to be forever. I can't change. That's the way I was born. That's the way I love being born. So, bam, we come out the cell the next day. We have morning program, right? They have morning, afternoon, and night, depending upon which tier you're on. There's two tiers. They'll split it, right? It's like a split tier. So half the top tier and half the bottom tier will go to morning program. Half the bottom tier, I mean, the middle will, the middle section will go to the afternoon and then the night. And then the next day it switches or every couple of days it switches. And in between they have shower and laundry. It's just the way this county jail worked. I liked it, eh? Because fucking I was getting the wiggle a little bit. Well, at least I liked it up until program time. So anyways, bam, we come out. Right? And of course, man, I'm sticking to my celly like fucking peanut butter on jelly, like glue, right? And I'm like, introduce me to uh, the fellas, brother, right? And he's like, hey, man, he goes right up to some big ass skinheads, woods, man. Um, big, big boys, right? And he was like, hey, this is uh this is the brother gunner right here. Uh he's a, he's good people, man. He's a Mexican. They said, What wood? He said, he's Mexican. They said, nah, hey, you're not a brother. We sit over here, brother. And I said, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not, Holmes. And then they're like, oh, well, why didn't you tell us that when you came in? I said, who the fuck are you guys to tell that? Right? I'm thinking that in my mind. I didn't tell them that. Let's just be real. Right? I said, nah, bro, because uh, see, the way that my fucking uh, getting at you guys works is I don't do it in front of the cops. We, hey, we respect that, brother. We respect that. Right? So they're like, well, the Mexicans sit over there. They sit over there. Right? So, of course, I go over there. There's a couple of paisas, and they're looking at me like, the fuck you doing over here? So I feel like, where, where can I go? Who can I run to? Like an escape song. Who can I escape to? Because... The Pisces over here, I'm not brown enough for them, but I'm not white enough for the woods, brother, you know? Hey, you think that you see the polar bears right there, right? They back my play. So, I get to being cool, but there's this one particular white dude that never comes out of his cell, man. You know, he's the beast of this cell. Basically, he's the shot caller. He's the one of this pod. Um, big old white boy, mangy ass hair. Looks like Opie from fucking Sons of Anarchy. Just dirtbag, right? Both looks like he hasn't showered in two, two and a half months. And so he's looking at me, so he's like, hey, Wood, hey, Wood, brother, right? And I'm like, oh, fuck. He's like, can I get at you? So I walk up. I'm like, what's up, bro? And he was like, are, are you one of us? I said, nah, man, I'm Mexican. He says, yeah, I don't like white boys that think they're Mexican. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, you know I me. Mean? We don't do that blood in, blood out shit here. We just, they just bleed. And I said, oh, we got issues, right? And he's like, I'm going to come out. And when I come out, me and you are going to catch that fade, basically. You're going to have to see me. You know, one of us is going to leave this pod. Now, this guy just didn't like me. I don't know. So now I'm asking, now the Pisces ain't fucking with me. They're over there getting their fucking canela on, not even tripping off me. Then we got the woods over there, brother. Domino, brother. Right? They're over there doing their thing. And the brothers, the blacks, there's very few and far between. And I ain't even going to lie. They got their one fucking table. And they're looking at me like, S.A., don't even get over here. Don't come over here, brother. Oh, power room. Don't come over here, right? So I'm like, fuck, man, it's cool. It's whatever, man. So I'm kind of like in my own little table, man. There's this one knack ass white dude. And when I say knack, that means I'm not a claimer, right? That's cool. Um, and we're kicking back. He was like, man, they don't like me either. I was like, nah, but I ain't, I ain't like you, bro. I'm, I'm going to fight. Um, and so the movida happens, right? I see it go down. This dude doesn't come out of his cell. I guess he doesn't want to break a nail. He doesn't want to chip a tooth, right? So he's calling shots like this through the cell door, right? And I'm thinking, damn, every time this fool's door pops, he closes it real quick. You know, they should have recognized that from the gate that they were being utilized by someone who was really a coward, man. But just because he has some dirty mangy ass hair and a couple swastikas, right? They thought he was that one because he'd been in and out of prison, probably told on the whole population. But that's just what it was, man. I couldn't tell them none of this because there wasn't no one to tell. So I'm kicking back and I'm waiting. And the movida goes down the next day at Chow, right? They happen to pop our doors to come out to Chow. Now, I had been different the prior three days. The prior three days, they had been sliding our trays in through the tray slot. So I thought it's all good. You know what I mean? Today was fucking shower day. So we weren't going to program. I was just going to get my roll, get my shower, get back to the cell. 
my son is telling me, yeah, don't even trip off that dude. He don't never come out, brother. You know what I mean? The other woods, we're not even tripping off you. But he's rocking me to sleep, humps. See, I could, having been in the system, the California system, having been through YA and all this, I know when you're rocking someone to sleep. You know, I can tell by gestures and eye movements and just the way he's acting, that shit ain't the same no more, no more. We're not playing like we used to, you know? When he takes a shit now, he just, <laughs> chorro. He doesn't even let me know, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, shit. And then if you ain't ever smelled a white guy shit, let me tell you something right now. Don't do it, right? It's different. Your antennas will definitely go, <laughs> and melt. It just smells like, 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 Rotten turkey. You know what I mean? Like it smells like they didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on them or in their toilet. It's fucking different, right? It smells like Christopher Columbus then fucked up and went to the wrong country before he got here. It's caca. So I'm in there and I'm noticing the way his interactions are. He's acting different. So I'm preparing myself. You know what I mean? What I did is I broke down, chipped down a little razor. You know what I mean? Got it. Started to fashion it up. Did, and I'm not going to lie and say I was melting in all that. This wasn't prison like this. I was just fucking taking my cuffs on this. I'll take the fucking string from it. <laughs> got me a little double blade or a little RV. I'm ready for whatever, man. I got it. It's called self-preservation. I got to protect myself because there's nothing but white boys, man. And all of them are starting to feel agitated and look at me funny. And all because they mistake me for being a white man. I'm brown. You can't tell. You know what I mean? The way I wiggle. I got soul, homie. You know, so anyways... Boom, they pop our doors and I wasn't expecting it. And the wood kind of looks back at me. And he was like, oh, we got to go to chow this morning. And I was like, all right, cool. Chow consisted of coming out of your cell, forming a line, grabbing your tray, grabbing your little coffee or juice, whatever they're going to give you, sitting down in this make makeshift fucking day room, eating and going right back to your cell. Now, everything was switched up. Some days you grab your fucking tray, go back. Some days they slide your tray. This day, we we're going to go out there and eat. And I seen the movida happen in slow motion. I couldn't stop it, gente, you know? So, bam. I go out there, boom, this big old woods there, right? He's giving me the coffee. Again, dirtbag is not coming out, right? Dirtbag's getting the double tray put in front of his cell. Cell pops, cops, hey, pop a cell, fucking wood. Double tray, this is it, right? He's getting his because he's the shot caller, the pod shot caller, like 60 days in, right? Um, Whatever. So I come out and I'm sitting down, right? And of course, I sit with this black dude, this fucking white dude that I said, the, the knack dude that I was cool with. And there was like a little Asian cat. And so we're eating, right? And I'm kind of like, fuck, I have a bad feeling, man. Something's going to happen. It's too quiet. Usually you hear, and the white man marches on, right? All these white boys are screaming and, and, and yelling. Um, and then they say the blacks are loud, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but they're loud. But nah, there's no oys going on. It's just kind of real quiet. And I'm like, fuck, man. I feel it, right? I'm a target. I'm a buck for this target practice. And the white dude that was serving, like, the fucking coffee and the, and the thing, he's a big old dude. He has a hairnet on, greasy-ass hair. You know what I mean? You can almost see the fucking baby oil drip from his shit. You know, hey, watch out, brother. I think you got fucking uh, uh, 10, 10W30 in my fucking shit. You know what I mean? Anyways, this Volta looking at me, and he does this. When he looks at me, he goes, like, yeah, it's all good, right? Boom! My own celly catches me, hentai. Boo, 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 boo. I'm getting smacked on by about six white boys. Hey, what the fuck are you? You know what I mean? The white man march. They're on me, right? They're like, don't ever fucking come in here, SA. F Norte, right? They're on me. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, they didn't even know what a Norte was two days ago, right? Or three days ago. Now they're beating me up. Um, And I got drugged. Man, they threw a pot of coffee on me. Thank God. Thank God is my whip. The coffee was cold, right? But they still threw it on me. And I'm getting drugged, man. Brothers, I ain't gonna lie, man. This is why I said we're not we're not together, brother, at all times. The brothers is like, damn, that essay getting dragged, right? And bam, I'm getting jumped on. Um, and the white dude's like, get him wood, rip that farmer's head off, get him wood, right? And I'm like, oh man. So I get jumped on, they take me to the hole via the infirmary first, right? They check out my little eye, everything's good in the hood. Um, I'm coming back, and I'm coming back for vengeance and for reals, though. So they bring me back. Um, I'm probably gone like, maybe that shit happened first thing in the morning. Maybe by the evening time. It was right after chow, man. I remember they gave me a sack lunch. They bring me back, right? Right to the same pod. Ain't no King Von shit. Ain't no I can't go in there. Ain't no bullshit, man. This is real life, right? I got to go in there. See, one thing I learned a long time ago, even if you don't want to go, I don't give a fuck what side you're on. If you're a protected custody, if you're S&Y, if you're PC, if you're GP, whatever you are, Holmes, a man will fucking go through them doors and just go do your thing. It's just a fight, eh? You might get stabbed in a little bit. Saying, yeah, that's part of the game. You know what you signed up for. Um, but I'm going back for reals, right? And any wood I see, brother, I'm going to march on, right? 
polar bears don't back my play. So I walk in and hey, there's a ray of sunshine and all that darkness, right? So as soon as I walk through, you know what I mean? They had just finished chow. Like I said, they slid my bag lunch. So these guys are packing up all the fucking trays and everything. And of course, the same white dude with the fucking hairnet that didn't go to the hole, he socks me up. He does this, right? And I get beat up. He's still there. <laughs> For now, right? As soon as I walk in, you know, they're not paying attention, bro. Lacking at its finest, right? And I see him and I drop my little bag. Boom. And I rush. Get over here. I rush him like Ken Shamrock did Dan Severin. Get the fuck over here, Wood. Right? Boom. And I'm on him. Boom, 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 boom. And I ain't going to lie. This was big, right? He's like, get off me, Mexican. Right? <laughs> and I'm getting jumped on. Um, Quietly as it's kept, it was a one-on-one -on -one fade. Again, the brother said, this time that essay getting him, right? Everything was good. I get locked up, sent to the hole. Um, three more times they let me out over that weekend, and I got jumped every fucking time or got bombed on before I could even hit the hallway. Um, these woods were on me, man. Needless to say, they were mad at me. <clears throat> mad at me, why? Because I was a brown man that actually has light skin. Through my whole life, man, the Miklo effect has affected me, hente. You know, I'm, I'm a light-skinned guy, man. Somewhere along the lines, through my family heritage, man, there's probably some European blood, blood brother. Um, I think we're all mixed, man. We all got a little bit of everything. That doesn't change the intensity and the brownness in my heart. That doesn't mean I'm not a brown man striving. You know, I've seen more homeboys that are just white dudes, straight white, Caucasian. You know what I mean? James Earl Ray type motherfuckers. I've seen them get more love in the hood than I did just because I'm light-skinned um, and I'm so into my raza, my culture. But that's the way it's always going to be, man. That's where people get a discrepancy and fuck it up is they're not really aware and they don't know. Anyways, with that being said, gente, come sit over here, Wood. You're one of us. No, I wasn't. Um, respects to the white man because they do their thing, man. Their shit is more mo racially motivated compared to a Mexican's. You know, ours is more political and gang related, whereas theirs is just a little bit more racial, man. But that's their thing, you know. And I'm not saying all woods are like that because some woods are just good. But the, skin, the skins are different, brother. The skins, they roll different. Gar! Gonna get an extra tray. You know what I mean? Come on, writer. Come on, brother. Hit that. You know, that's how they do. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, man. It's all true. It's all facts. It really happened. Um, got lumped up by the white man for not being a white man, I guess. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the struggle to strive. Homie, and the strive to struggle. We're going to continue to do what we do for all the hit that brown, black, and woods, brother. It's nothing but respect and love. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Hey, he's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I believe in, man, is the coming together of all people. It's a positive message. It's a righteous message. It's a real message. The gun. Bang, bang.